Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing part one of the long-awaited video that's gonna take you through my land, my house, the numbers, what it's gonna cost, what it's gonna look like, all of that I am gonna take you through. So part one of the video is gonna to be today going through the land, the project of the house that it's gonna be and what I'm gonna do with it and stuff like that. And then next week is when I'm gonna go through the costs and the numbers that I'm sort of currently predicting that it's going to cost me. So let's get into it. I am filming this in the UK just before I head off to Poland so I will be showing you the land when I'm there and then uploading this whilst I'm in Poland. So hopefully I'm going to insert footage of the land and show you what it looks like right about now. But you can see that it's an incredibly quiet countryside, it's basically in the middle of nowhere so people ask me this and I don't want to live in the city, I want to live in the middle of nowhere. I am aware that this is going to be a slight culture shock but because I spent a long time there last summer I realised that the pace of life in London just wasn't what I wanted. I want to live in this sort of really quiet countryside where basically where I live the only member of my family that I'm not going to be able to walk and see is one of my grandmas and she's only about a 20 minute drive away and literally everyone else is gonna be within walking distance. I probably won't even need a car, that's the plan. The plan is I'm basically gonna walk or cycle everywhere. Don't get me wrong, if I suddenly have loads more income, a car will be nice, but it's not necessary. So I'm gonna sort of weigh up whether or not I actually need a car. I'm pretty sure I could function fairly well without a car. Lots of my family members do have cars, so I can always borrow the car from them on the random occasion where I'm gonna need a car. So I do have to get rid of this pole. Um, I can't really have it on my piece of land, but I did get a discount on what I paid for it in order to be able to pay to get this removed. It's basically just a bit dangerous to have it so near a house. So I am going to have to pay to have that removed and I'm going to have to basically get water and electricity mains over to my piece of land. So that might be a bit costly as well, but those things I can sort of do whilst building the house. So from what I understand is I go to an, like go into an architect with my project and going, can I build it here is my first step. And then once they've done that, they will adapt the project to my specific piece of land and figure out where to get the water and electricity coming in from and, and stuff like that. So this is my sort of very rough idea of how I think it's going to be placed, but who knows, uh, they might tell me it has to be on this side or that side or, or anything else. Okay, so let's talk about the actual house. So this is where I'm gonna show you the project of the house and talk you through what I'm gonna do with each room and stuff and then show you what the rooms look like made up. So on the project, it gives you an idea of what some of the places like the kitchen, the bathroom and the living room can look like. This isn't what mine will look like. It's just the interior sort of done up so you can get a bit of an idea. Anyway, so this is the outside. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty if I do say so myself. Yeah, I just, I really like it. It's simple but elegant and I really like the way it's done on the outside as well. So I'll probably sort of mimic that kind of design. This is from the other side. So this sort of window uh, terrace kind of thing is where the living room is. So this is gonna be coming out from the living room. So this is the first floor plan. If I just take you through each bit. So this is where you will enter. Uh, this is sort of the hallway. And then this is in Poland, not many people tend to have gas heating. So a lot of people have this room for like burning coal and stuff like that. But because I want to be really eco-friendly, I'm going to get like a really eco-friendly heat pump that basically uses air rather than coal um, and it will be electricity fueled. But I'm also gonna get solar panels. So all about the eco-ness, is that even a word? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but essentially I'm not gonna need to use that room for its intended purpose. So what I'm going to do is knock through these walls here well, not even knock through them, just basically take them off the design um, and just have a massive entryway. And you might be thinking, why don't you just use it for something else? But I like the idea of having a big hallway 
with loads of storage space and some space for like animal stuff, um, like maybe a nice cat scratching post or, or something. I have a board on Pinterest and I have loads of ideas for a big entryway. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do with that. And then obviously this is the bathroom. I'm not gonna have a shower in there. Um, it will just be a guest bathroom with just a toilet and a sink really. Um, so this is meant to be a study room. I'm actually going to make this a home gym because as much as I'd like to have the study there, I want to have a home gym and I feel a bit weird about having a gym upstairs. So I'm gonna make the downstairs one a home gym. There isn't really a proper gym in the place I'm gonna be living. So again, I don't really wanna be driving to a gym and I also don't wanna be paying for gym memberships. So although it will cost me a bit of money up front to put together a home gym, over time it's gonna save me a lot of money. So that's the plan for that. And then obviously over here, you've got the kitchen and living room. Um, you've got the sizes here. Um, so you can see that they are pretty decently sized. The kitchen is actually, it looks it looks small, but it's actually bigger than the kitchen I've got here. So it will be more than what I need. And then you've got some under the stairs storage here as well. Part of me is thinking, depending on how much money I save and whether I've got the funds to do this, I'm potentially thinking of adding a conservatory here um, on this end and therefore not having to have the dining room here and actually putting the dining room in the conservatory. But I'm not 100% sure yet. The summers get very hot there and it will be expensive. So it, it's something that I'm thinking about, but I may or may not do. And then the upstairs here, you've basically got three bedrooms, a laundry room. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited to have a laundry room. Like it might seem stupid, but for me, it's like a life goals type thing. So when I saw that this had a laundry room, I was so excited and a bathroom, um, a rather big one because you've got um, a bathtub here and then a big shower here. So I'll show you what it looks like in a second. But in terms of what I'm gonna do with the bedrooms, um, so obviously this is the largest one, which will be my master bedroom. And with these, one will be a guest room and one will be an office. So I'm pretty sure that this one, um, number two, is gonna be my office. So it is slightly bigger and therefore I can do more with it. Um, and then this smaller one here will just be a guest room for guests to come and stay. So the exciting part, um, this is what it looks like on the inside. So you can see here those big balcony doors that we were looking at before. They're pretty cool. I like how much natural light is gonna come in here because you've got those big doors here, this door here, and then a big window in the kitchen as well that you'll see in a second. And then this is just from the other side. So. Again, it is it is enough space to have like the sofa and the TV and the dining room, but if possible, it would just be nice to, to have the conservatory, as I said. Um, again, just another view. And there you can really see sort of, this is like the corridor. This is the door to the under the stairs storage. And then this is the kitchen. You can see the big window here. I'm so excited. I love having windows and kitchens and I don't have that here in this flat, so it will be so nice to have that. Again, another view of the stairs. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a fireplace here. I really want to have a fireplace. And a couple of the other projects um, or variations of this project actually have a fireplace here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to add a chimney and stuff. So obviously I'm gonna get an architect and stuff to do all this, but essentially have a fireplace here. And then there you can see the kitchen again. And then that's the proper view of the kitchen. So I definitely want to have like plants above the window and stuff, just like hanging down if I can. And yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. And yeah, just another view. So there's not that much space in terms of like countertop space, but plenty of storage space, which is the most important. And, and again, I don't have that much countertop space here and it's perfectly fine. So, and this is the exciting part. This is, the bathroom and although I'm gonna change things in the other um, rooms, I really like this bathroom design. So I think I'm gonna try and go with something that's as similar to this as I possibly can. Although I might have more plants, but I really like this bathtub and how clean this all looks. So that's one side of it. And then this is the other side's view. So you've got a nice window here as well, which is good. 
and a nice sizable shower and stuff so it's a really big bathroom and the fact it's already got a shower and a bath is why i don't think i need a shower in the one below that's pretty much the different views of the bathroom so hopefully that gives you a nice idea of the kind of house that I'm going to build and the land that it's going to be on and where I'm going to be living and stuff. And then in next week's episode of this, I'm going to take you through all the numbers, basically going through how much the land costs, how much the house is going to cost to build, how much all the extras are going to cost and timings in terms of how long it's going to take me to save that amount and stuff like that. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the project and the land and everything like that. And if you've got any cool ideas or anything of what I could do with it, please let me know in the comments. I'm so open, especially since I haven't started building it yet. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. We are kings of the world.